Good morning, you guys. As you can tell, I haven't had a chance to even brush my hair or anything. I haven't had my morning tea. If this was that important to me to say to you guys this morning before I did anything else, I read some of the comments on the video yesterday where we uh, defined made up words. It was basically words that I found in the newspaper that were like new theme park words. And it seemed to not sit well with a few of you guys that you, I guess you guys thought that we were bashing you for your weight. I'm sorry that you feel that way. That's not at all what that vlog was supposed to be about. It was all in fun. We were just making up the meaning of words based on the way that they sounded. So I don't really know where it took a, a like a deep turn into darkness. <laughs> That's not at all what we were trying to do. The vlogs are put into the entertainment category because we're just trying to entertain you. Whether it's through being silly or what have you, we meant no malice, we weren't calling you guys fat. That's not at all what we were trying to do. I recognize that Tim's comment about, man, look at those thighs. It was, it was literally a joke. I mean, if anything, look at these thighs. Like, look. Are you serious? Look. Like, uh, why, why would I make fun of somebody's thighs? <laughs> I mean, that's one of my insecurities, are my thighs. But honestly, it was, it was a joke. We were just kidding, and maybe our sense of humor is a little bit off. I don't know. I'm sad that people are mad with us. That's something that I, we never intended to happen. We have the best viewers, I think. You guys are super loyal and you guys are always really nice. And if you are mean, it's from a joking place. Like, I don't think you guys really mean it. And um, that's something that I really love about this channel and about, you know, the Tim Tracker and YouTube is that we really have like a tight knit family that watches our videos. It's just my, just my thought. Um, we're definitely not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. If anything, we want to try to make people feel better. We're having something different for dinner. How excited are you? Pretty darn excited. Yeah, we still gonna have some chicken, but we have some macaroni and cheese. And then I use some of the extra cheesy sauce to put on our broccoli. That's a lot of cheesy stuff. Yeah, oh, oh, no. it's like a cheat day sort of. But I only gave you half a serving, well, both of us, I only gave us half a serving of the, um, the... That's only half a serving? Yeah. Holy macaroni. A whole serving has 400 calories. Macaroni. <laughs> it's gonna be so delicious. I just got out of the shower after working out. That's why my hair's all crazy. But we are gonna give me a haircut later on tonight. And right now, we're gonna watch Cabin in the Woods because they just released the first house for Halloween Horror Nights is a Cabin in the Woods based house. So might as well watch the movie again to get caught up on it. I love how Bandit just sits right here while we're eating dinner. <laughs> You're not getting any food. Boop. You know, I don't even think Kurt has a cousin. It was a good movie. I enjoyed it immensely for the second time. It's a, uh, I like movies that you can watch twice. So since we are watching, or we watched Cabin in the Woods because it was really sad Halloween Horror Nights house, I wanted to tell you guys my favorite thing that happened to me last year at Halloween Horror Nights. I was there by myself and I went through one of the haunted houses. I think it was Silent Hill and there was a family in front of me and they got really scared and they all took their shirts off. The guys did. And it was ridiculous because I don't know why they took their shirts off, but I think that they were trying to show the scary people who was in charge. So they took their shirts off. It was most enjoyable. And then they let me go ahead of them because they were scared in a corner with their shirts off. We started working out and Tim had to wear this super awesome hat because his hair is so long. It's like getting in his eyeballs. I'm a hipster. I love it. Put I your head down. It's like a bicycle. Like like a bicycle hat i tweeted it out on instagram i instagrammed it out by the way i'm gonna try to use instagram more so you guys should find me the tim tracker instagram find me too i'm the gen tracker you know what though people who wear these glasses without the lenses deserve to have their eyeballs poked yeah you look very hipster ah do i yeah these are my real 3d glasses that's what the kids do these days. Because we watch something in real 3D because this is not real 3D. This is like two and a half D. <sighs> you guys remember Blue Man Group? No. Is it so much hair that's coming off? Yeah, it's like crazy long. I didn't know how long it was. Oh no, should we show them? Yeah. Can you guys see? Holy cow, check this out. Ah! You so got a sweet long. bowl cut right now. Heck yeah. You guys like my new haircut? Yeah, you're gonna be dancing. So beautiful. Mala! <laughs> Tell your children not to go my way. It's gonna be better. I'm gonna blow dry it straight down so that we can see what it looks like, but we'll see. I'll show you in a second. Looks pretty awesome. We still got some cutting to do, but it looks starting to get there. I like it. 
I think it definitely needs to be a little bit shorter. Because yeah. you're looking a little bit like vanilla ice. <laughs> Stop, collaborate, and listen. Ice is back with a brand new edition. Something. Grab a hold of me tightly. Oh, is that a brand new alien. invention? Oh. Does what? he say invention or an addition? I thought he said invention. I don't know. Every time I look up lyrics on the internet, it's like, you win! Free iPad! Porn, 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 porn. <laughs> What do you think? What is Morrissey saying? He's like, kill the DJ, kill the DJ, kill, hang the DJ, hang mm. the DJ. Oh, yeah, yeah. That guy. That guy. <laughs> yeah, I like it though. What do you think? Let's go do it. Do what? My hair. Mm. So if you've ever wondered how the Tim Tracker gets his signature quaff in the morning. Little, little teeny tiny amount of this stuff. Right, this is. What is it? It's The mess maker. Fructy style mess maker. Power putty. <laughs> right? Yeah. Not very much. Yeah, yeah. And then you go like this, and you go like this. Ready? Then you go up. You might still have to cut the front here, right here. Is it too long? A little bit, yeah. It's so long, we need to cut it a little bit shorter. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. Yeah, you look like kid and play. House party, y'all! Alright, so that's the shorter length. What do you think? I think it looks a lot better shorter. Yeah? Mm hmm It still looks very long. <laughs> Let's put some hair product in it and see. What do you guys think so far? What are you gonna do? I'm going to, I don't know if you guys can see this. <laughs> He's really tall. This like pointy part. I think what I'm gonna do is just cut this pointy part off and then it'll be just like a, kind of like how my grandpa's hair was where it was just kind of like curled back. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, if I cut it, I'm just worried that I'm, because if it doesn't look like this every single day, he'll have like a weird spot there. No, it will look like this every single day, that's what my hair does. Okay, then I'm gonna cut it. Okay. I told him to smize for this picture that I was taking from my Instagram. That's the picture I wanted to show everybody, that we cut his hair and how great he looked. By the way, follow me on Instagram, the Jun Tracker. Um, and that, that was the smize that I got. What do you guys think? That's I'm smiling with my eyes. That's not a smile. You look scared. It's so yellow in this bathroom. We're gonna go get some more hairspray at the Terragut. So Tim's haircut was a little bit touch and go there for a minute. I wasn't sure if I was doing it right because I hadn't cut his hair in so long. And it was so long. His hair was like 10 inches long. So now we have to go to Target, which I know he already told you we're going to Target. But I told you we were doing fun and exciting things and we did not disappoint. That whole last clip was really blurry. Boo. Why? Oh, because of the bad lighting. Oh. Uh. She knows what's up. Thing looks like a scarf. I love this necklace. Actually, I didn't really see it. Let's see it. Yeah, I think it's fun. Not like with this outfit, which I'm covered in hair. I don't know if you guys can see. And soy sauce. Soy sauce and hair. I love it. So when we were at Target, there was a woman in front of us that was getting a movie and two bottles of wine. And when she was telling the cashier about the movie, she was like, well, if you like, if you like life-size cockroaches, I mean, if you don't, maybe you shouldn't watch it. So I don't know if you guys ever play the game where you like try to guess what people are getting in front of you by just by like what they're saying to the cashier. So I was trying to think of a movie that had cockroaches in it. And the only thing I could think of was Joe's apartment. Do you guys remember that movie? It was an MTV movie with um, Jerry O'Connell and some cockroaches. I, can't, I don't know who else was in it. That's but, really funny. I uh, thought that it was, um, Who's that MMA fighter? Joe know. Rogan. I thought it was Joe Rogan for some He's reason. an MMA fighter? Yeah, he used to be. He's not anymore. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he got started as an MMA fighter. Oh, no, it was definitely Jerry O'Connell for sure. Like, I'd be willing to bet you a million dollars on No, that. no, after you said Jerry O'Connell, I was like, oh, yeah, Jerry O'Connell. Yeah. But do you guys remember that movie? Now we have to get all this rogue hair off of us. Rogue hair. Rogue hair. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. tomorrow and, and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the price. price. Yeah.